Uh, it's my it's my pleasure being here, and I hope the little info I'll be able to pass across will be of assistance to you guys in the scholarship. So uh, without further ado, I will go straight ahead to seeing the things I need to see. The MTN scholarship uh, process has a number of stages. Firstly, the application stage, the application stage, then the assisting stage and the award stage. Coincidentally, the application stage is ending today. So if you've not applied for one reason or the other, you should try and do so as soon as possible. But I won't really be dwelling on that since I want to believe everyone here has already applied. I'll be speaking mainly about my experience with the other stages starting from uh, the ACC stage up to the point I was awarded the scholarship. So um, the MTN scholarship is I can say it is okay. So what happens after? Can you can you hear me? Yes, bro. Yes, you can hear you, sir. Okay. okay. So um, after you apply, uh, I think within a month from today, and following from precedence last year's last year, the year before last year, within a month from today, that's before the fifteenth of September or the end of the week, which contains the 15th of September, you should receive a mail from MTN, from Dragnet on behalf of MTN, uh, um, inviting you to the essay stage. That is if you make it to that stage because they probably have some selection criteria, in-house selection, which is not exactly known to me which they use to determine students who would proceed from the application stage to the SAC stage. The sad reality is that it's not everybody, but I can pinpoint some things that can obviously disqualify people. One thing is a mistake in your application, a wrong email, issues of that sort will of course automatically disqualify you. But aside that, I feel maybe there are other criteria that we might not know about that they use to shortlist for the essay. But definitely, most people will get to the essay stage. So if you did everything correctly, you don't really have anything to worry about. Okay. Uh, so what happens at the essay stage? MTN has this uh, culture of administering essays to potential scholars. The essay is a very straightforward essay, something about uh, communication technology. It's going to be a very straightforward topic about communication technology. And you will be asked to write the essay within 24 hours from you receiving that mail. So it is highly important that you are always attentive to your emails. A lot of people will be disqualified because they do not see, they did not see that email on time. Sad, but then it's going to happen. So you being here and listening to me, you should endeavor to watch out. Uh, the essay you will be asked to write will come with a condition that whatever you write does not exceed 150 words. I'm telling you beforehand, and I hope you keep this in mind. Though it will be contained in the instruction, but people will still ignore it. I know of a few people who, for one reason or the other, mistakenly wrote more than 150 words. I can assure you that's instant disqualification, written your essay. After you've written your essay. Now, two things can happen. Either Scholastica will mail you to inform you that you've proceeded to the next stage, which I think is the verification. Stage or they says there is a verification stage. I believe if you adhere to the rules of your essay, you should definitely get to the verification stage. So the verification stage simply entails Dragnet coming to your school to confirm that one, you are a student of that institution, a valid student of that institution. Two, you were admitted in the required session, which is 218 to 19 session for this application round. Three, your CGPA meets the required benchmark, which is it should be at least 3.5 on a five point scale. 
So Scholastica will come to your school and run that verification. Now you are not concerned with that part. So you have nothing to worry about. You should just ensure, okay, I have one thing I have to say. Depending on how you, you, you probably know how your school operates, how cordial your school staff are. If your school have staff that are not maybe interested very interested in the welfare of the student, then it would be nice if you could keep an eye on the verification stage and ensure that your school sends feedback within the stipulated deadline. There will be a stipulated deadline because MTN operates on a well-defined window, okay? So after the verification stage, of course, I believe you all who have applied are actually valid students. So you shouldn't really have any issue with that part. Uh, there will be the examination stage. The examination stage is going to be the penultimate stage before the award process. So what is the examination stage? The examination stage is simply where you are going to be administered with a, an exam whose results will be used to determine the final award. Note and note carefully, at this point, it is purely on merit. Yes, um, your performance in the exams will determine whether you are awarded. Last year, the, the examination was um, administered by workforce. Workforce, it's a group like Scholastica that aids job, um, um, job recruiters and scholarship administrators test their candidates. Okay, the structure of the exam was 60 minutes for 60 questions. It was divided. I did into four segments, functions are piece. The segments were mathematics, English language, abstract or logical reasoning, depending on how you want to put it. And of course, general knowledge, 60 questions, 60 minutes. That was last year. The years prior to last year had a different, usually had something like 200 questions for one hour and they were administered by Scholastica. Uh, I'm giving you that piece of information because I, when I was thinking about the scholarship again, I remember about some, something on mentioned it and it made sense that the reason Scholastica did not handle the exam last time was because they had a lot of activities on that day. I remember that exam was written on, I think the 14th of October, 2002. And on that fifth scholastica we are administering. So it's, it's very likely that maybe due to the workload, they shifted it. Why am I giving you this piece of information? Just in case this year the exam is handled by scholastica, it could be that they would revert to their previous format of asking, I think, about 100 questions in one hour or thereabouts, or 200 questions in one hour. I can't really remember, but keep that in mind. I said abstract reasoning, mathematics, general knowledge, and English, English language. I saw a question regarding that. So that's basically how the exam looks like. Now, it is very, very important that you perform well because your performance in the examination is going to determine if you are awarded. If you write the examinations and you are not awarded, the sad reality is that those people who are awarded performed better than you, at least those people in your, in your, in your group. I, I will not elaborate on what I mean by that for the sake of time. So that's basically, that's basically what the um, whole process from this point to award entails. It's basically a straightforward process that will entail that uh, attentive to instructions. I mentioned that in the essay stage you are up to date with information so you can get your essay on time and you are well prepared so you can pass your aptitude test for the examination stage. So I think that is everything you need to know or I can pass across. Hopefully the other speakers might be able to um, shed light on something I have missed because it's very possible I've not said everything. Okay, so um, Mr. Ola, I think I am done and I will hand over to you. Thank you very much once again. Oh, all right, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate everything. At least you're able to get a uh, few things to note for uh, everything you have said. Really appreciate your time, sir. So I believe some people might still have questions they need to ask you, but that would be after the uh, that would be after the meeting. So okay, our next speaker, 
Thank you very much. Sir. So uh, I will call on the. So I will call on the next speaker for now, and that will be uh, the friend of mine as well, the scholar, uh, scholar Fatai Olalikon. So scholar Fatai is a founder of the of the Department of Civil Engineering. Uh, is He's my course mate here because I'm studying at the University of Illinois as well. And he was awarded, that was uh, last year as well, he was awarded in 2020. So coming up now, to the necessary information that we need to know. Uh, Scholar Lee, you are welcome, sir. You can come on board, sir, for Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear you, sir. Good afternoon. Okay. As the host has said, my name is Fata Ali Kwan, a foreign level student of civil engineering university of London. So, like, as Tommy has said, like, I don't have much to say since, like, Tommy has covered most of everything. But I also, I will also start from the registration stage. I think the registration stage, like, you do not make mistakes during registration because this can be used against you. Like, for instance, now, let us like, something actually happened to me. So, you'll be asked during the registration stage, you'll be asked to input your, uh, what do you call this? Uh, next of King email and address. So after I was awarded the scholarship, I think you also made your uh, next of King. So I actually included a wrong email because I didn't read it. I just put it this way. So while others were receiving mails based on their next of King, I, I didn't receive the mail. So that is just a part of it. But in the AC state, now the next stage is the AC state. But like if I should look at this, let's say in three weeks' time, or let's say at least three weeks and some days' time, I think you will receive a mail concerning an AC. And as for me, I said, it usually takes 24 hours for you to write it. So on that AC stage, now let us know you will be given a topic to write now. So, and the topic will be general topic, like everybody will write, so everybody will be asked to write the same thing based on the topic. So what I want to emphasize is that you no, know, everybody will use internet. I believe you go to the internet if you want to understand about the topics. But the way, to me, the way they actually shot it, those that were successful in the email aspect, in the easy aspect, I believe they use plagiarism check. Because everybody will actually use the internet. So you want to copy something. But whatever you want to write, let it come from you. Or you even for a piece. You don't just leave everything from the internet. You try to manipulate something there. So I think that should be one of the uh, criteria for passing the essay aspect. And also, do not write more than one with you or when you are writing. So that is also the so that is really the body AC. So don't don't leave. That is the important thing. Write whatever like once you have understood it, you should try to write whatever comes to your mind. So that is actually in the body of the AC. So maybe the, the definitions or maybe doing the introduction and the definitions and some other things are actually leave it. But in the body of the AC, you should leave. Write what you think is right there. So and let's say I say after the after the AC now. I think maybe after some, let's say, months or so, you will mail that you be ready for the exam. And it will actually take you like work for. So, and the exams will, let's say, English, mathematics, uh, logic, reasoning, and general knowledge. I thought it takes like one hour for 60 questions. So, I think what I would just say about the mathematics aspect is yeah, you can use some past questions like available resources. And the logic aspect there is dragnet questions under logic within. You can also study that. I think there will be like five questions to under logic within and five questions under um, general knowledge. Maybe English and mathematics there are like 20 questions or so. I can actually report. So that is it about the uh, uh, test aspect. So after the test, I think less than like after three days that we wrote the test, we were sure that uh, congratulations, you have you passed like you. We are shortlisted for winning the scholarship. So that is all it about MCM. Tommy has said most of the things that you want. So I just need to emphasize, especially the AC aspect. After you have passed the AC aspect, I think the, like, the testing aspect is not actually hard. So uh, another thing, like the verification aspect, before you go for the testing aspect now, we have the verification aspect, like Scholastica will actually contact your school 
about your CDP, like all those things that you have indicated during the registration, you have to confirm it from your school. So once they confirm that, it actually correlates with what you gave them. So I think you will pass the verification as well. But something happened last year to some people, though they actually passed the easy aspect, but they didn't go through to the testing aspect because this, their school did not verify them. Because the scholastic made their school that, okay, they should send them their details. So the school refused to send, to send it to them, maybe due to COVID-19, because schools were not open then. But after some time, scholastic mailed those students that they should contact their school to send their details. The school and the students are not actually send those details to them. It must be from their school. So I think some schools did not respond. So that is how some people could not go straight to the testing aspect. So for you to have to win the scholarship, your school will also have something to do with it. So in case like that you have to be in some class schools now. Once you see that okay they are shortlisted, so you should go you always get your meal. So you have to maybe you should know somebody in your school, let's say like students that like senior buildings in your school. You have to So to only check the confirmation. So apart from the verification, the, the testing aspects. So the most like the hardest aspect for me is the AC aspect. Like the exam aspect, the exam was not actually that as prepared enough. You know. But as Tommy said, he said it was anchored by scholastic prior to the one we did last year. So I don't know how it will be. It will be better for you to just practice practice pregnant questions and work for questions in case of necessity. So if there's any question, you can just ask. So I think let me just draw the first thing here. Okay, all right. So thank you very much for uh, the uh, enlightenment, the information. Uh, Every other thing really uh, appreciates appreciate everything. So, uh, so before uh, I want, I need someone to. If you have any question, let me see. Let me check. Okay, I think. Okay, someone was asking that how can we get the last okay the last year's topic and the materials. Uh, I think okay. And we answered that then somebody was asking that can we get uh past questions so uh let me ask for uh the question for what do you say i also have a question please can okay, i go ahead we have a question abby yes sir okay all right you can ask your question yeah. all right sir thank you so if scholastica was to undo the um verification and the tests is it the same? If it happens that workforce will be handling the exam too, will they be done to verify us? Let me answer that. Okay. Scholastic okay. will have to verify you. Workforce that just like, let's say, uh, like scholastic actually, let's say the scholastic will give the work to workforce based on what Tommy has said, because maybe they had many things that we were doing then. That's where they gave it to workforce. But the verification aspect will be done by scholastic, not workforce. All right, thank you very much, sir. Um, I also have a I have a profile on Scholastica already, and to be sure, some of the details are not are not the same as the one I filled for MTN. So, is there any way I can fix that, or should I open another account? Okay. No, no, like. Okay. Do you want to answer the question? You can continue, sir. So the thing is, whatever you feel in your MTN, like you don't need to run change anything in your class class, and that is another different for another scholarship. So during the registration, you actually get started with MTN. So whatever you inputted in that on that portal now, MTN will send it to Scholastica. So that is what they will use for your verification. So whatever you have on your Scholastica account does not matter. Oh, thank you very much, Charlie. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we take. Hello, sir. Remaining many questions later. Hello, sir. Hello. So, so we take we take questions later. So let's invite some other uh, scholars to come on board so that they can. Don't worry, we have time to take questions. So, uh, the next person that we invite now is a uh, is a scholar as well. <laughs> uh, that scholar Diola Joseph. So, uh, he's a first class graduate from the Department of. Mathematics at uh, University of Missouri. 
and he was awarded the scholarship in 2019. So it's a 2019 MTN scholarship and MTN scholar, I mean, and he's done with his studies now. He graduated with a first class from his department and even as one of the best from the Department of Mathematics, University of Illinois. You are welcome on board, sir, Scholar Joseph. <laughs> Sorry, I think maybe he's having some technical issues over there. Uh, maybe we will just take more questions before he comes up. So is there any is there anyone having? Okay, I'm seeing some so many questions here. I'm coming. Let me check some of them. Okay, I think uh, the answers are available as well on the chat. Somebody was asking about last year's material. Okay, maybe we get that. We can still, uh, we have the chance to talk with the scholars after now. So we can still meet with some of them. Okay, was the exam a physical one last year? Uh, scholar Lukon, can you help us to answer that, sir? Okay, like it, was, it was a virtual exam and it was actually a full third one. Like, Workforce sent us some things that we have to, there's what they call work, uh, workforce in working environment. So we were given the steps on how to go through, through the testing aspects. So, and they did it in such a way that everybody will start at the same time, not this one that, okay, you can start at any time in a particular day. So I think we started by one and ended by two. I'm not that sure, but everybody started at the same time. So it was actually a virtual test, not a physical test. And even your webcam has to be on, so you'll be monitored took the exam, so that is it. Okay, all right, sir, but how can we get the past question? Is there any past question? If possible, how can we get them? Oh, I think I will check my system if I, if I still have some, yeah. Okay. And I will send it to you. For, for the people that registered, you will get the past question on your mail. So if you have not registered, make sure after now. You do that. So for as many people that have registered, you will surely get the past question from the So as Kola Joseph was supposed to come on board, but I think he's having some technical issues uh, over there. So I'll, I'll call on the next uh, guest speaker. And that's Kola. I'll call on Kola Michael. So Kola Michael was, all, he was also awarded scholarship in uh, 2020, awarded the scholarship in 2020, and is a 400 level student of the Department of Chemical Engineering, University of Illinois. So, uh, Scholar Mike can come on board. Come in. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, yeah. My name is Abaji Michael Luashe. Yeah. Uh, my, I don't even know what to say because most of what uh, is necessary has already been touched by the previous speakers concerning the uh, essay, the exams, and mode of selection. But most importantly, as my previous speaker has uh, stressed, is that one should be like uh, very well in touch with the email because not only for MTN scholarship seek, but for other scholarship because uh, through the email, that is where everything is going to be communicated to you. And I am not sure you are going to be communicated to outside of the email, except probably after you have been shortlisted where sometimes I think on my own part, I do have some issues whereby I do write some uh, email to them and a call was placed to me, something like that. And But basically all what is needed is your, you paying attention to your email, the messages coming in and responding to them on time, just as uh, Tommy has uh, pointed out, because by you not doing that, you just shoot yourself in the leg uh, because there are thousands of people out there also that you are competing for a very limited spot. So I just believe that being conversant with the email and uh, and being prepared, fully prepared, is just the key to 
getting the chance for winter scholarship. Thank you. Okay, all right. We appreciate uh, we appreciate your time. Um, at least we're able to note so many things that we need to uh, do. So I just want to advise everyone on the platform. It's not just about you uh, listening to all the, all the words the speakers have said. You need to act on them. Like one of our speakers was saying, you are not to exit 150 words. I know some people will still go ahead to, to do against that particular instruction. So it's very important that you follow instruction. And if you notice all the scholarship, they are very strict in terms of instructions. They have so many applicants already. So once you fail to adhere to a particular instruction, you are out already. They are even happy that you are out. So they will have uh, less people to now work on. So it's very important that you follow the necessary uh, instructions. Yes, I did let me let me take let me take questions. Oh, I just can't tell you. Let me take questions. So, if you have question, please kindly signify, or you can drop it on the chat as well. There so are questions on the chat. Mute, mute your speakers. You are joining the meeting, please. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I said there are questions in the chat box. There are okay. questions in the chat box. Okay, and um, maybe, do, do you have one? Do you have one? Okay, okay, uh, I have a question. Okay, okay, well, yeah, ask your question, please. Um, sorry, this um, MTN scholarship, they said um, this year they are involving a um, medical student and um, medical related. Is it true? Because I'm a pharmacy student and I also applied. So is there a chance of getting shortlisted? Or is it dead end? As a as a what? Which course are you studying? Like I'm studying pharmacy oh. and I applied because someone said they are involving uh, medicals and all oh, this year. So I applied. Is there a chance of getting shortlisted or it's a dead end for medical related um, students? Okay, uh, scholar told me, please we help with that. So. <laughs> Did I hear my name? Hello. Yes, you can hear you, sir. Okay. Um, I, I'm not very conversant with delivering bad news, but I think wherever you hear that information is false. Barring any uh, any unforeseen positive circumstance, MTN scholarship is not open to pharmacy and medicine and surgery students. Though on the award list, it is occasional to see a few students from those departments, but those students, I'm not sure, are direct applicants. Okay. But I don't want to kill your hope entirely. Let's just wait for the short list. But usually, no, it's not for pharmacy and medical students. Wait, so they're not direct applicants. I can you do you care to shed more light on that? That's what, 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 yeah, what that's what I'm yeah. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Uh I do not know how those guys get awarded. Okay. But I don't think they are people who applied directly. They could be recommended by um MTN affiliated bodies, stuff like that. But let's just wait till the ATSH stage comes to us. Once we get the short list, you will see if you are shortlisted or not. Keep the hope alive, though. Okay, uh, it's all right, sir. Thank you very much for uh, the answer. So can we can we have someone come on board? Do you have any other questions? If you're, if you're having any questions, we still have uh, two speakers that are supposed to uh, come on board, but they're having technical issues at their hands. So uh, I think we just have to wait for them. We have to be a bit patient to wait for them. And if it's not possible that they join us today, uh, it's possible we can schedule uh, another meeting, maybe some other time before the uh, before the essay. So. Okay, we have some questions on the group. 
what is the essay about? You just joining the group. Uh, okay. Somebody was asking that did they shortlist everyone for the essay or does it come by chance? <laughs> Scholar Liko, this year around. I'm still around. Okay, okay. Like, guys, uh, please, can you have us? From, the, uh, like, from the best of my knowledge, the easy okay. aspect, like, once you're writing, the, your words does not exceed 150 words. And I think I also emphasize that whatever you are writing, don't just leave anything from the internet. Your introduction aspect, maybe the definition of those terms, like what we were giving last year was uh, the, role of, the role of telecommunication industry in sustaining data economy, something like that. So I actually, I defined telecommunication industry, I defined data economy, then now, what are those rules in of this industry in enjoying digital economy? So, like those things are what you write in the body of your essay. And if you have to write it, you cannot just write whatever is on the internet. Try to understand it and put it in your own words. So I think there's what they call priority check. They will check it if you actually leave or not. Because based on the mail they sent to me, they say congratulations, your essay submission passed the benchmark. So it means that they are they, they are using some kind of things to check your essay. So I believe priority checks will show be part of it. And also, it should not exceed one few words. Once you do all this, I think it should be shortlisted. That is just it. OK, all right, sir. Thank you for <laughs> the answer as well. So uh, we are still waiting for the two other speakers, but over time, they might not be able to join us because I'm still trying to communicate with them. They are still having the technical issues on their side. So let us take the last one. Yes, Ola. I can see a question. No, you can, I can, can see a question. OK, you have a question. I can see a question from Stanley. Yeah, Stanley is asking if all applicants will be sent an email to write the essay. If you listen carefully to what I said, I said no. That will not be the case for some reasons like improper application and some other things we may not know some applicants will not get to the essay stage but if you applied carefully you are sure everything you filled in was correct then you have a great chance say 80 percent probability of getting to the essay stage now you know mtn did not send any confirmation mail after applying so some people it might surprise you but there are people who will fill in wrong email addresses and even if they are shortlisted they will never get to see it because the email address they filled in was wrong and there's no way of knowing so to answer your question in summary no not all applicants will get to the ac stage but most will okay all right <laughs> thank you very much uh, thank you thank you thank you sir so uh scholar noah you're having a question as you are raising up your hand. Yes, you can you can ask your question. Hello, sir. I hear me, sir. Yes, we can hear you. Can go on with your question. Okay, uh, I wanted to ask. Um, Please be a bit audible, like, like can you? Okay, I wanted to ask about the like my own course now. I don't know um whether it's well, is there any chance if I if I should be shortlisted for the email for the writing of the essay? Mm -hmm. Is there still any chance of me expecting? Because my own course now is medical related. What was your course? Optometry now. Optometry, okay. Ah. Uh... Um... <laughs> Okay, uh, scholar Tommy, please. We yeah, pause that. I think we've, we've even talked about it like the medical related courses, but maybe you just shed more light on it, sir. Okay, I have already said it, but then I'll mention it again. MTN is mostly for science and tech students. So, if I well, let me not say science and tech, I will post. I believe all of you joined the other WhatsApp group. I'll post the list of eligible courses there so you can cross check cross-check it for yourself. But if you are studying medicine and surgery or pharmacy, those two I know, they are not actually eligible for MTN. Though there could be a few students studying those two courses that will be awarded. 
But as I re-emphasize, most likely those students are recommended by a body affiliated to MTN, not open applicants like you and I. I think that's all I can say about that. Okay, so is there is there any guarantee of of what? Pass question, pass question. Uh, well, you know, the exam we wrote and ex MTN exams have always been CBT based. So you might not get a concise pass question compilation, but there are preparatory materials that could help you um, get mentally ready for the exams. I believe um, Ola will provide those after this. Yes, uh, I'll be there. I'll show you that, sir. <laughs> Uh, so there was a particular um, one of the applicants I was speaking with sometimes ago, and he was afraid that he doesn't know how to write essay. But I would I was advising him that he can get uh he can bring up a write up, then he can give it to an editor, somebody that he or she knows that the person is good in uh, creative writing and editing. So you can just give it to that person to edit and rebrand it. Empty that we are you done it. So it's not necessary that uh you know how to write or you don't know how to write. So you can just come up with a write up and make sure that you do your homework. Like you have to read a lot of online materials, you online, so that you can have uh, a good knowledge about the topic. So you don't just write anything because I applied last year, but I wrote the essay but I was not able to meet the benchmark. So application was stopped at that stage. So I want to advise everyone of you, make sure you always see it. Make sure it's, uh, it's worth it because the thing is, the application is competitive, is highly competitive. So you make sure that anything you are giving to them is a first class material make, make sure that your writing is a first class writing so and i be uh, then concerning the uh the exam you know to pass any exam you have to study you have to be serious so i said it already that we send the necessary materials to every one of you after now so you don't need to bother about that we are going to send the material so you need to start to prepare as soon uh, as possible. So I think that would be all for today. Uh, I told you that we have two more speakers that are supposed to come up, but because of uh, network, we have network issues and the like. So, so because of that, uh, okay, I think I have Scholar Joshua, but Scholar Joseph, I think is around. Hello, sir. Scholar Joseph, can you come up now, sir? Let me let me. Okay, somebody was asking that should the essay be typed or handwritten? Maybe Scholar Lee can be able to answer that. Yeah, usually you'll be sent a link that you should type the essay there. Once let's say you should have typed it on the let's say on in word format now. So you'll be sent a link that okay, once you are done with your essay, you click on that link and you type everything in that then you submit it there. So you know if you don't be written, it has to be typed. Yeah, that is it. Okay, all right, so, so okay, I think sorry, I'm coming, I want to get some feedback from one of the speakers. Okay. All right, let me just welcome uh, Scholar Joseph. Can come on board now, sir. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Good afternoon, sir. Can I hear you, sir? You're welcome. Okay, I'm very sorry for actually joining the meeting later, I've been struggling to join, but um, internet connectivity has been my major challenge over here. So um, I missed a lot of sessions from the discussions and the scholars that spoke before me did. Well, I'm quite a little old scholar. So the talks about scholastica verification and all those things, 
was not the method we used in my own time. So I wouldn't like to dwell on that area. So I'll just dwell on, probably talk about exam, talk about essay and those other things. So concerning the essay, um, you have my own time when, when I did MTN scholarship, we were to write an essay of just 150 words. So how do you write such an essay? And the topic is so voluminous because if you want to write, you have to, to write anything solid. You have to write maybe one, maybe, maybe up to 500 words on that topic, but we had to write 150 words. So what do you do? Your essay must still have a complete structure of an essay. What I mean is you must still have what an essay should have, maybe a little introduction. You talk about the body, uh, the body of the essay, you still have a little conclusion. So in writing such essay, that's where the major challenge come from for a lot of people. So when I wanted to write my own essay, what I did was I had a lot of friends that are into writing. So I sent the topic to some of my friends to write for me. So about two to three of my friends, they, they wrote essays for me. So the essays they wrote were over 500 words. I, I collected the essay. I also wrote my own essay. So that's four different essays from different perspectives on the same topic. I now merged the essays together. So my essay was about 350 words. I now sent it to another of my friends to help me proofread and try as much as possible to remove anything that he feels is not relevant that should be there. But still yet, when the guy did the proofreading and kept proofreading, he was not able to bring it down to 150. So he sent the essay back to me. And I was able from that point, I was still able to check it and check it to reduce it down to 150. What am I trying to say is the amount of rigorous exercise I put into that essay. So don't just feel you can write whatever it is and you are going to win, no. At times, it's just an essay and you are not being monitored at that stage. It's not a proctored exam. It's in proctored exam that you are being monitored. So you have the freedom of, okay, maybe I have a good friend that can write on this topic. You write your own, get your friend to also write on that same topic and see how you can merge those views together to get a very standard essay. So you check your grammatical correction, you check punctuations, and you check some of those things because that's the first stage. Then another tip that I also, also share with you is um, during your registration, see, eh, I, I don't know if this is a rule, but this was what I did. I felt I want to get something from MTN. Why should I use an ETL number to register? So I advise you don't make that mistake. If your active line is an ETL line and you are asked to fill in a phone number, please fill in an MTN number because you are trying to get something from MTN. So I, I, I'm not saying this is a rule, but this is just one of the things I felt if I want to get something from somebody and I'm not um, contributing to them, how are they going to give me something? So I just felt I should use my MTN number. So get an MTN team. In fact, I bought an MTN line because of MTN scholarship. So you can also do that. Then when it gets to the exam, I didn't have much time to prepare for the exam. I only had maybe one day because I had to travel down from Benue State to Abuja to go and write my exam. It was a hectic journey. So I only had one day to prepare for the exam that I was to write. And believe me, my own set, our exam was hard. I don't know about other sets, but our exam was hard. It was like GRE exam. So there is this Dragnet study pack. It's actually a compilation of study pack by Dragnet. It's Dragnet is also a, a, an organization rather that offer tests and interview exams like that. So the exam was basically, we have this verbal section, we have this um, comprehension, you have your normal current, we had current affairs, we have quantitative reasoning. The, the quantitative reason is the hardest part of the exam because it's mental mathematics. So you, had, I, you have to just be familiar with patterns, but, but you can still get some, some things out of it and train yourself very well in those, in those verbal sections because they are very tricky also. They are very, very tricky. It means you can't just bring interpretation to questions you see, you must use the interpretation within the passages. So the Dragnet study pack I use, I think I still have access to it. So 
I will share it with the host of the meeting, then whatever, how it will be passed alongside to, to others that want to make use of it. Then lastly, what I must say is prayers also matters. Please do well to pray. Because when I finished the exam, I thought I had failed. Just to my biggest surprise, I received uh, this thing that you won MTN scholarship and so on and so forth. And apart from that, you see that Dragnet study pack that I studied during that time. I still went ahead to use that Dragnet study pack to win several other scholarships. So studying very well for this one will be of great importance in other future scholarships that you might be applying. So these are just few tips that I should share, not to take much of our time. If there's any question, I may be able to take that. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your time. Really appreciate the efforts and the everything. Though you were you joined late, and we understand the fact that you're having you were having some technical issues, and you were able to join. I, I, was, I was very happy that you were able to get that join. Thank you very much, sir. So we still have uh, one more speaker, but uh, the information reaching me now is that he will not be able to join the meeting. But he gave me some tips that I should share with uh, you guys. So I was talking about the that you need to follow the guidelines strictly. And we've said that in terms of the essay, you will specify a particular word. It should not be more than this particular word. Make sure that you follow that. Now, it will, I don't know how true that is. It was saying that if you have been shortlisted for the exam, the past questions won't really help since they don't even repeat questions. It's usually a new set entirely. But I would still advise that we send the past question, study the past question, just like Scholar Joseph said, study the uh, the Dragnet study pack. Because even if they're not bringing the same set of questions, at least you know the format, the way they reset the question. And once you understand the format of the question, then you can easily relate to uh, those questions. So that's just what uh, he asked me to share with you guys. So I really want to appreciate every one of you for joining the uh, meeting. And I told you, it's not just about all this information that you've had. The, 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 the best thing is you make sure you note them down. I don't know, maybe any of you have jotted there, you are taking note of some things. So you need to, and the best thing is you need to apply them. You need to apply them. So it's not just about knowing about the particular thing but you need to apply them. So once again, I want to really appreciate all the uh, speakers. I want to appreciate Scholar Tommy. I want to appreciate Scholar Michael. I want to appreciate Scholar Lekon, Scholar Joseph, and Scholar Sunday. So Scholar Sunday that was not uh, privileged to be in our midst. He was having uh, some other things to fix, but really appreciate every one of them. So I'll, we surely follow up on every one of you guys so i will advise that you remain on that whatsapp platform that i've created so in case there are some other informations that we need to relate with you guys we surely share it with you and i also want to advise that and encourage you guys when you, after if you have any problem you can easily share it on the group if you have anything that will help the applicants you can easily share it on the group and uh, as soon as you are awarded, you can share, you can let us know so that we can celebrate you, so that we can, you can, so that, so that we can add you to uh, our academy and you can help others to win the scholarship as well. Just like you, you've seen our scholars, they've, they've come up to the, on the platform to come and share with us their success story. So we want to hear from you also. So as soon as you have been awarded, please let us know and we celebrate you uh, uh, we celebrate you very well. So I also, uh, I would like to thank the organizer. I'm just like, I'm the representative. So because the, the ALAT, ALAT Academy is a non-profit organization, academic organization that is just towards uh, helping students and promoting academic excellence. So uh, I don't know, we can take just one more question. So we just round it up from there. So if you have any other thing, you can easily relate on the WhatsApp group. We'll be very glad to hear from you on the WhatsApp group. So is there anyone having any question? 
Okay, I'm seeing some questions from the chat. Can the 200 level apply for anything? Uh, I think it's for, it's for third year, 300 level students. So just wait the 300 level. So when you get to 300 level, you can. Sources, are you having a question? Hello? Oh, sorry, I don't have a question. What do you say? Okay, I think it's not having a question. So, uh, on this note, uh, we end the meeting. I recorded the meeting, so I'm still going to share it with uh, every one of you. So, I appreciate the fact that you guys are around for the meeting. So, we've come to the end of the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining the meeting we hope to hear from every one of you very soon and my hope is that every one of you will get the mtn scholarship award you get the scholarship award thank you very much thank you all right thank you so much sir. Really appreciate it.